welcome. So, the Star Wars quest has been going on for like a while now, right? Big update, nice fun update, and we're following the storyline in the films. That's class. But now, Order 66 has been executed. The Jedi are dead, the clones are, well, killing everyone in sight, all the children are dead, yada yada yada. But along with that, Darth Vader has returned to the island. And I wanted to test out if his mythic is still shit or not, because, well, especially in uh, no build, it ain't the best. Like, I've heard in build it's class, because you can just one tap most builds, but I don't play builds. Do I look like someone with skill? No, I don't play builds. I'm more of a no build guy, right? So, that's class. But this mythic is is so bad, as you'll see later, that it's just, it's not even worth picking up. On the bright side, on the bright side, it kind of stacks with others, but not quite, if you know what I mean. Because, well, you can't, eh, you don't get any good abilities. You get, what, the force throw that does 60 damage, if you're lucky. Dog shit, don't use it. Bad. If you want to throw shit at your opponent, go find the Darth Maul lightsaber. It's your class dies. He throws like what a big pile of rocks at you. Like, like four to five. And they do 40 damage each. So yeah, do the maths. Like 160 is much bigger than 60. Who would have thought that? So I'd go for that personally. But we're still testing out Darth Vader's lightsaber. Is it good? Is it not? We'll see. Okay, so as you can see here, we're talking to Obi-Wan trying to get like to see if i can force push with the force throw as well because that'd be really cool if i could stack it yeah unfortunately you can't as much as i'd like that you really can't you do get the force flip though which is much much better like look at that i even take the full damage shoot the front flip because it fucking wore off halfway through so just my luck that yeah, the force throw don't even do that much to the walls, it does do 200 damage. Not the best, I'll give it that. The DC blaster though, the DC 15, that is really good. There's 37 on a body, it's like 40 something headshot. Really fast fire rate though, so that's really good, I'd use that. Yeah, let's see. What's that fire rate? Taking the wall out much quicker than taking the stick. Well, they're both in the thing, but you think a lightsaber would be much better. I think it's a guy down there, yeah. Leave him. See, the DC, DC-15 knows what it's doing. But now we're going to try and get close because I think he's a bot. See if I can do him in with the mythic. I don't think he's got that good of range. No, it doesn't even hit him from there. The problem with that is I'm still left, like, open-ended. No, like, vulnerable. But see, I don't even, I have to wait for him to come back when he's in spot. Look at that, it took four to destroy the wall. Stormtrooper shoulder versus Stormtrooper ringlet. But yeah, see that mythic. It took so long to kill him. Oh shit, got a shot at here. Yeah, look, there's just like a bunch of bots in this one, and that's what we're testing them out on. It's my first game in a while. But... See, the DC does some good damage, right? That was pissed at. That absolutely should have hit her. On the bright side, there's no like cooldown. So you get it back and control again. Again, man, it doesn't do enough damage. It leaves you like ex vulnerable. So if I'm fighting someone, I just throw it at them and they can get it. It's pointless. Why use it? I really think you should, if you're going for a mythic, get the force push or the Darth Maul. The force push, I've won games just by pushing like the final few people into the zone over and over. It's fast. Page and Amps too much, but like. Yeah, see, look, even that guy just took a bit of a. Now the shot's over to the northwest. We're gonna go over there, looks like. Yeah. Would be best if we could uh, get our full health back. It's guaranteed, right? One time I don't make sure I'm on full health, I will lose by that much. Oh. Ah, they're back. Here we go. Yeah, but like, I think it's 60. Is it? Nice. Missed that one. Get shotgun right again. So we're going for regular license. Look how much health we lost, right? 59. Mad. I'm gonna pop the med kit, because again, health is important. Eat your vegetables. And we get fucked. Watch, this guy's gonna. He's got the Darth Maul. Yeah, let's see. Look how much better that is. 
need to wipe all our health down. I don't know why I went to throw it, that was stupid. But like, come on, it's just so shit. It's it's just so bad. Like, wh why go for that? Especially when you got to fight Vader for it. Like, he's one of the most difficult bosses, because he gets Force Pull as well. He can have two. Why can't I have two? So he pulls you back in, then does you with the lightsaber. Oh, and he can throw it at you as well. Oh, and he gets the Clone Troopers to help him. Yeah, it's just... I got lucky that game. Because there was the quest to beat him, so it was just like five of them beaming Vader. And I just got, I just got like the final hits on him, took the thing and ran away. But like, it's such a shit weapon. What? Why would you even try to? Like, ugh. He, he did us in with the bloody Sith Apprentice one he got from Darth Maul. Like, that ability is great. The Force Pull could be a bit eh. I mean, if you're going to pull me into a shotgun, go for it. Force Push, class. But, th like, the lightsaber throw is so dog shit, man. It's really bad. Don't, don't go for Vader. Just don't.